I just wanted to make a quick video to show everyone how to get a second board on the Ender 3 that can be used the same time as the first board. Obviously you need to be running Clipper. Um, so first thing you need to do is supply 24 volts to your second board. Um, then you need to just flash this board with the same um, firmware flash that you used for your original board. Uh, then you need to obviously just hook that up to your Raspberry Pi with USB. Um, what you'll have to do then is figure out the addresses for both of the boards. So you log in with uh, PuTTY and then you chuck in a command to get the addresses which you can get from the fre frequently asked questions and it's this one down here Copy then, then in PuTTY, just right click to paste it, and that will give you the two paths, so there's one, so this one says 1.2, that one says 1.4, so if I disconnect this board, And run that command again. Just press the up arrow, enter. It only comes up with one now, and it's 1.4. So I know that this board is one, the 1 1.2. So the next thing you need to do is go into your Clipper config. You need to add this section here where it says MCU and you have to call it, call it auxiliary board or uh, Z board that's your only two options so, or you can call it Z board like that so I've called mine auxiliary board and then whatever ports you want to use on this so I've got an extruder hooked up to it at the moment on the extruder port and I've got the mister hooked up to the uh, hot end port little thermistor here so all I did was added extruder 1 um, then you just need to make sure these pins are correct by using the the config reference for whatever board you're using if it's a if you have two of the exact same board then you can just use the pins from your normal extruder there. And then the only other thing you want to do is in front of each pin you need to add aux board or z board or whatever you used in front of these pins and the the heater pin I added aux board in front of that if any of these have an exclamation mark normally in front of the pin, the exclamation mark moves in front of aux board for it to work. So this way you can have two extra hot ends or extra Z motor stepper. Um, so it's quite quite useful. Sorry, I just had to put the phone down so I could plug the USB cable back in. But we can see on the screen here, we've got now extruder 1 and extruder. Um, one thing I did forget to mention is the second extruder that I added. I uh, just put a 1 next to it. So if you add a second Z motor or something, just have uh, a 1 there. Um, so we can see the temperature here is 24, if I put my fingers on the thermistor it should go up, 
Yeah, this one goes up. Or if I want this extruder motor to turn, I can just extrude on extruder one. Um, go max speed, max. I'll just hit retract. all that so yeah that's how you set it up it took me a while to figure it out but i thought i'd just throw it online so if anyone else wants to give it a go